Hi guys. It is a lovely Monday night here in the end times deep in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the Oasis of Freedom. Hallelujah. From the Oasis of Freedom on this beautiful, uh, it is Monday, January 31st, 2022, and we have made it through the first month of 2022 somehow without civil war breaking out and uh as some of you know <coughs> i just uh passed my first covid test i took my first corona panic test and tested negative so hope whatever this shit in my head and stomach and whatnot is just the usual shit in my head and my stomach so anyway guys here I am like a moth to flame, you know, I was in YouTube jail for two weeks for my second community guideline strike for spreading medical misinformation about Corona panic. You know, Monday was, is, was my new Corona panic chronicles where I made this New Year's resolution to only talk about Corona panic on Mondays. And unfortunately, my second one out of the gate, uh, I got my second strike, was down for two weeks. So I am back on the air. I noticed one of my strikes has been removed. So I now have one community strike. So uh, like a moth to the flame, uh, I am coming back to the issue of Corona panic. And even more than that, uh, I am getting ready to stir up some shit with one of my, <laughs> with one of my dearest imaginary friends on YouTube, and, and I called him, and, and uh, he gave me uh, his blessing. I guess he gave me his uh, trepidatious, is that a word, blessing, to go ahead and have this rant. And so, quite a bit of this rant is going to be Hambone Little Tail getting uh, down, uh, we're going down to the mat with uh, Vegematic, with my buddy Vegematic. So you guys can look forward to that. Before, but before we dive in to the, uh, before we begin the mud slinging between Hambone and Vegematic, and uh, we're also going to have uh, Deb Ozarko is going to be a major player in this in this uh, drama. I want to uh, I, I kind of want to plug that uh, for some reason that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles just did a reading uh, at least the first half of this essay by this fellow named Eric Rittenberry. And uh, you've got to go over to Collapse Chronicles and listen to this thing. But uh, I, in that, uh, this, this, uh, I mentioned this is just one of the quotes from Eric's, from Eric's essay that, that Sam Mitchell read over on Collapse Chronicles. Quote, We are ruled and managed by the least among us, and we are greatly divided over trivial issues and we are going to talk about the single most pointless trivial issue that humanity has ever encountered and of course we're talking about uh, various aspects of the corona panic started off with the masks and now, of course, we know what it's gotten into is the vaccines and vaccine mandates. And as I was telling Veg when we were talking on Friday night after his video, when we were talking on the phone, uh, the difference between a, the corona panic vaccine and a vaccine mandate is the difference between Sancho Panza and a pit bull. Anybody, and I'm afraid this includes Vegematic. Brother, it includes you. 
who does not have the fucking intellectual uh, ability and the tiniest modicum uh, of discernment and critical thinking to understand the difference between a vaccine and a mandate. You need to go back to second grade and take basic English. Before I go into this one more time, and I'm not speaking necessarily for Debo Zarco or anyone else, I'm talking to speaking for Hambone Littletail. I am not an anti vaxxer. I am an anti mandator. One more time, you little cop bots. I would never tell anybody do not get the corona panic vaccine. If you look at the information that is available out there and you reach the conclusion it is in your best interest to get the vaccine, get the vaccine. You have my blessing to be an adult and make your own decision about your health. Do not tell me what to do with my body. You do not, nobody, nobody tells me, I don't give a fuck who you are. And Vegematic has never told me to get the vaccine. But uh, I don't give a fuck who you are. You don't fucking tell me uh, to make decisions about my goddamn health that I don't choose to make. All right, and there's a lot of people who have received the vaccine who agree with that statement. And these are the people we're going to talk about as we dive in to the great Canadian truck convoy, the uh, anti-vaccine mandate convoy. It is not an anti-vax convoy. Okay, we're going to read directly from the 85% of the people in the fucking convoy have been vaccinated. This is not about vaccines. It's about mandates. At least that's what it's supposed to be. The way I understand it. So anyway, it was Mark J, my old buddy Mark J, who called my attention to this convoy. I'd never heard of this damn thing because I really don't spend that much time in this shit, studying this shit. So he sent this to me and I didn't know what the hell it was about. So I wanted to hear from my two favorite Canadian friends, my two favorite imaginary friends from uh, the Great White North. That would be Vegematic and Deb Ozarko, who I, I have nothing but respect for Vegematic and Deb Ozarko. I don't have quite the respect for Vegematic than I had uh, four days ago, but I, have, I, I, I more have pity for Vegematic right now than, uh, than a loss of respect. We all can get one. We all have a blind spot. I'm sure I have mine. Uh, that's, we don't recognize blind spots, but anyway, you know, Veg and, and Vegematic and Devo Zarco, you know, are kind of like, uh, mixing up humans and chimpanzees, not that Veg is a human and Deb is a chimpanzee, but what I'm saying is, is Veg and Devo Zarco and Hambone Littletail, the three of us, chimpanzees or whatever we are, we probably share 98.6% of our DNA. My guess is that Vegematic and Devo Zarco would probably, if you, on 100 items going down the list, they would be in 100% solidarity on 99 of the 100 uh, things. So anyway, I was interested in hearing uh, the, uh, what my two favorite imaginary friends, who I have nothing but respect for, uh, both of these people, uh, to call either Vegematic or Devo Zarco 
uh, you, you, you know, an anti-science, uh, right-wing, conspiratard, Trump-ass-licking, right-wing nut job. You, you, you know, uh, they both fully fucking understand uh, uh, what is going on on this planet. You know, both of them, well, you know, what's attracted me to both of them is, is uh, like, I'm thinking, I, I don't want to put words in their mouth, but I, I would just say as a general rule that Vegematic and uh, Debo Zarco have spent years of their life in their various uh, ways of doing this questioning the mainstream media narrative that you know they are the embodiment of people who question the unyielding mainstream media narrative horseshit uh, I don't know how many videos Vegematic has probably put out there talking trash correctly about Canada's, what is it, the Canadian Broadcasting Network or whatever, how many times, I'm sure, has Vegematic held up the Canadian Broadcasting, whatever they are, uh, you know, as the mouthpieces for the global corporatocracy, bought and sold. Uh, they are, I mean, I'm not that familiar with them, okay? They're probably not as bad uh, as the ones down here, but you know what I'm saying. Veg, how many times have you trash-talked these guys? So anyway, moving ahead, I got a lot to cover. This battery will probably uh, give out, so I'm just going to talk until the battery gives out. And uh, might come back if it falls apart. So anyway... I was waiting around to hear, so uh, first we're going to hear, so the first one I hear from is, is Deb Ozarko. All right, take it away, Deb, uh, in an email to me. I think this one came in, this one came in on Thursday. On Thursday, I get this email from, uh, from Deb Ozarko. <clears throat> Meanwhile, up in the land of the true north, strong and free, a fringe minority, being ironic of course, a fringe minority of millions of Canadians as labeled by the cowardly fuckhead now known as Justin Trudeau have raised millions of dollars in support of a gorgeous freedom movement for all Canadians. Truckers drew a line in the sand and millions of us have joined them. Truly history in the making. Finally feeling proud to be a member of the human family again. Regardless of the outcome, love has already won over fear. It is about fucking time. And so anyway, uh, she sent some links, and one of the links she sent over here uh, was to a to a uh, to a video by uh, that uh, that uh, little lefty. I think that uh, that Russell Brand. I, I I'm sure is a lefty. Now I admit I don't listen to Russell Brand that much, and. I, I, I can't play this for two reasons. One, I don't want the copyright strike from Russell, but the other thing is what I don't fucking get here, guys, if I, if I had uh, Russell, if I just said verbatim what Russell Brand said in this video, I would have my video and maybe my channel pulled down. I can go through how many people, a lot of them on the left, Russell Brand on the left, Jimmy Dore on the left, uh, hell, of course, Joe Rogan uh, on the left, 
all of these people who absolutely despise anything Donald Trump stands for. To call Russell Brand a fucking Trump tard, a right wing conspiratard, get get over it, you fucking little limp dick lefties. I, I, I've been talking about this. I'm so fucking sick and tired of this fucking bullshit. Acting like that no lefties are uh, are that that if you are against vaccine mandates, if you think uh, the government is overreaching. Uh, by these vaccine mandates, you are obviously an anti-science, Trump ass-licking, uh, Alex Jones cock-sucking, right-wing conspiratard, blah, blah, blah. Put it, stick it back up your ass, you clueless fucking morons, okay? If you're one of these fucking little lefties uh, who act like uh, that only fucking right-wing conspirators, uh, we can go down, you know, even fucking Alex Jones, I had the, the, uh, the disquieting experience of, of listening to Alex Jones last night, what Alex was talking about last night, uh, he was kind of laughing at the irony. What he, who he was celebrating was Bill Maher. Is that how you pronounce? Bill Maher is one of Alex Jones's uh, arch enemies. Bill Maher, or Mayor, whatever his name is. One of these little lefties who fucking gets it about these fucking mandates. Bill Maher, this Russell Brand, Jimmy Dore, Joe Rogan, uh, and, and there's five or six, I'm not, so let's cut the fucking shit, okay? One more time, I run around with about 20 uh, anti-mandators, 18 of the 20 of them despise the fucking ground Donald Trump and everything his ilk stands for, okay? So let's just cut the shit, you little fucking limp dick lefties. We ain't fucking buying it. I'm not fucking buying it from you, Vegematic. I'm not buying it from anybody claiming that I, that I or Deb Ozarko or Mark J or Alistair or Osama uh, uh, is a fucking Trump tard uh, right wing. Did this go? Did this shut the fuck up? All right. I think I've covered that. Okay. So what? Uh, Russell did here, he quoted directly from the organizers of the convoy. And I'm just going to read this out loud because I don't want the copyright strike. I don't think uh, this is from the, uh, from the organizers of the convoy. Uh, and a message posted on the Instagram account, Freedom Convoy 20. To the organizers of the convoy said, quote, come on, I have to wait for the uh, it takes Russell. Uh, facts, the media, meaning the Canadian mainstream media, is not sharing. The trucking, this, this is directly from the organizers of the real event, the trucking convoy is not N-O-T, capitalized anti-vaccination. It is anti-government mandates. All right, what does Russell share with us? Many of us are vaccinated. And it's like 85% of them. We simply believe that every Canadian should be free should be free to choose and face no discrimination or restrictions on their freedom due to their choice. All right, is there anything else? Uh, come on, uh, uh, Russell. So he can move on. It really takes, uh, Russell must move, uh, he must read a lot slower than I do. I guess he's going on about his rant. Uh, anyway, I guess Russell, okay. 
know this is still continuing the organizers of the event of the event no forced vaccination and yes it is force when you choose between a shot you do not want and your ability to feed yourself and all right truckers will not block emergency vehicles at any point ever and will assist any person in need at any point in the convoy or protest uh, blah 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 but anyway I think uh, okay people who oppose government mandates are not the tiny group that the media meaning the uh, media uh, that is ramming its dick down Vegematic's throat, the same media that uh, Vegematic on, on so many other things uh, puts at arm's length, that media, people who oppose government mandates are not the tiny group that the media has tried to make us believe. We are significant in numbers, growing by the day, and we will not back down Hallelujah. So anyway, uh, we're going, since it takes, all right, we're going to leave Russell behind, but it is good to hear directly from the organizers of the event. They are not anti-vax. They are anti-mandate. Like me, I am not anti-vax. I am anti-mandate. All right. I'm not going to speak for Deb Ozarko, whether she is anti-vax. I, I have never uh, asked Deb directly, are you an anti-vaxxer? Uh, you might be able to guess. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is now we're going to turn the rant over to my buddy, Vegematic, who we... Uh, all love down here in the Doomosphere. I have interviewed Veg. He's interviewed me. Uh, we are we are brothers in arms, but uh, we will see if our brotherhood can survive uh, can survive the the trucker convoy. Unlike my brother right here in Florida, who will not speak to me over this. Anyway, I hope Veg doesn't get me a copyright strike by this uh, by this sound. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop the music! Stop the music! Would you stop the music? I'm hoping. Mega well, madness, okay. it appears, has spread north of the border. Civil war. If people don't want to stand up, we've got guns. We'll stand up and we'll bring them out. Okay, I agree. That is madness. That guy is a fucking asshole. Uh, he is not speaking for me. He, I don't think he's speaking for anyone in, in that organization. Certainly the, the, the author of that organization that Russell just shared with us. Don't think he's speaking for Debo Zarco. All these kind of people that are just kind of waiting in the wings because they think they know things and they know absolutely nothing. They are idiots. Okay. I, I think what Veg is talking about, I'm agreeing with him 100%. I think he's talking the fringe outside of the mainstream. Uh, I'm, I'm unclear, Veg. Who the fuck are you talking about? Are you, are you talking about the, the, the organization and all of their supporters, or are you talking about the right-wing lunatic fringe? If you're talking about the right-wing lunatic fringe, I agree with every fucking word you're saying, brother. This from CBC News. Okay, so now Vegematic. Uh, Vegematic, uh, he is going to share uh, the mainstream media from Canada with us all. As a self-declared freedom convoy of truckers opposed to federal vaccine mandate made its way through the Toronto area en route to Parliament Hill on Thursday. Okay, there you go. So right now, even the mainstream media... 
It starts off fine. I'm agreeing with Veg right now. It starts off fine. The president of one trucking organization said the convoy's original message has been hijacked by far right or extremist rhetoric. I, okay, to the extent that that is true, if that's what he's saying, it is probably true. It sounds like the organizers of the event, uh, of the event agree with me and Vegematic that these fucking right-wing uh, Trump tard ass lickers uh, idiots uh, have hijacked the message. And uh, so I got no problem with it. So I, so so it sounds like so if 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 why doesn't Veg spend some time talking about the vast majority from here on out? He 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 acts like he's fucking talking about a tiny fringe element uh, of fucking lunatics on the right. But he's fucking not Veg. You're, you're not talking about him. You, you act like you're not being honest w w with me. You're not being honest with the rest of the people. Uh, you, you, you lead into this. You, you're, you're, swall you're drinking the fucking mainstream media Kool-Aid. All right? So what you do is you spend 10 fucking seconds uh, just quickly getting 98% of the fucking people out of the way and you spend the, the, the rest of your blathering here talking about a tiny few people. We're seeing signs calling our government communists and Nazis and comparing the mandate to the Holocaust. And if you're comparing this to the Holocaust, you need to educate yourself. Okay. Is a vaccine mandate comparable to the whole Holocaust? Obviously, that, and, and, and that jump is absurd. What the vaccine mandate is, uh, I would have to check my German uh, history uh, from the 1930s. It is the it, it's the same energy from the you know from the very beginning of the right wing fascist takeover, uh, the, 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 you know of the Nazis. It, it the language is right out of the fucking playbook. Obviously, to call uh, at this point that that is absurd, and. Uh, but already what Veg is doing, he, he's, he's drinking the fucking Kool-Aid and, 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 and he's pouring this shit stain of a few bad apples over the whole group. What began as a group of truckers against the cross-border trucking vaccine mandate? Okay, what began? So talk about that, Veg. Talk about that. You have no fucking interest in it. What you're getting ready to do, that, that, that is his total fucking thing that he talked. That's what it began as. And as far as what it began as, I don't know if this man uh, agrees with them or not. He never talks about it because he runs off at the fucking mouth talking about a tiny few people. What began as and is still, in my guess, I'm not in Canada, I'm in the Oasis of Freedom, still, uh, I'm guessing 98%, surely uh, including Deb Ozarko, is still true to it is these truckers against the mandate. What began? Has amassed the support of groups broadly opposed to public health measures in general, with some even calling for a Canadian version of the January 6th storming of the U.S. Capitol. Okay, there you go again, Veg, with your smug little fucking little smirk on, on your little limp dick lefty face. Look at your fucking little looking down your nose. Uh, you're looking down your nose. You think you're looking down your nose at fucking me, brother. Uh, you ain't looking down your nose at me. Uh, anybody uh, making that uh, jump, uh, jumping that shark, deserves your fucking snobby ass, uh, little snotty looking down your fucking nose. Look at that fucking smirk on your face, brother. 
you're, you're really embarrassing me here. If you were talking to those guys, I would be right there next to you with the same look on my face, but you're not talking about them anymore. You know fucking well, Veg, that in your head, in your little Kool-Aid-soaked brain, that you're talking to me. You're talking to Deb Ozarko. You're talking to Mark J. You're talking to Alistair. You're talking to Osama. You know goddamn well you are. Don't fucking deny it. Yeah. In Vaughan, Ontario, truckers were met by crowds of supporters, some with no connection to the trucking industry, but who came out to voice their opposition to pandemic public health measures. While some in the crowd held some... Okay. Uh, now, again, this whole thing about, you know, couching uh, a mandate as a public health measure. You know, of course, this is the... You know, and I agree with, San, you know, Sandy Shellis. Uh, she is still drinking the, this is a public health measure, nothing more, nothing less, bullshit. Signs against the mandate. Some appear to be more on the fringe, holding signs like join. Some appear. Okay, some, I, I agree with you, Veg. Or die and liberty or death. One supporter was seen draped in the flag of the far-right group, the Proud Boys. Nothing to be proud of there, boys. No. Okay, one fucking person. You spend more time on one fucking clueless fucking moron from the Proud Boys. Okay? One motherfucking proud boy. So the fucking mainstream media is out there looking at I don't know how many thousands of people. They see one fucking person in a fucking proud boy costume and they ignore the other 999 and go pay all the attention and they have their little fucking parrot uh, parroting this shit with the, you know, that where they're all proud boys. Hambone Little Tail is a proud boy. Yes, Deb Ozarko is a proud girl. Mark J is a proud boy. Alistair's a proud boy. Osama number five, he's a proud boy. That's exactly what you're saying. You know goddamn well uh, that's what you're saying, Vegmatic. I love you, brother. What we also see in Canadian politics is the Canadian Conservative Party that we're always kind of, you know, light, conservative, light, uh, <laughs> has seemed to uh, be encouraging this kind of nonsense that's going on north of the border. And it's like the craziness cannot be contained. It just uh, spreads like a like faster than the coronavirus. It's All right, the craziness cannot be contained. He's talking about, as far as they know, a, a minor right-wing fringe. But the craziness now that he's talking about is not that one person, that one clueless fucking moron in his Proud Boys flag. It, it, it's people with fucking brains who have had enough of this fucking bullshit. Uh, it's anyway, just, it's the insanity, the the my freedom people. The freedom people, you go, freedom people. I love them freedom people. When when did the uh, when did these fucking little limp dick lefties, and I and I never would have considered Vegematic uh, uh, a limp dick lefty, except in this case. That this man is not a limp dick lefty. Okay. He's a full tilt hard on lefty, except on this one when his fucking dick just withers. That haven't got a clue. The moronic, the oh. stupid. There you go. The imbecilic. There you go. The insane. You go. The nutcase. Yes. The lunatics. The lunatics. Are All right. You bring it on. I am a proud nutcase and a lunatic. I am one of these nutcase lunatic lefties who actually believes that the government does not have the right to tell us what to stick in our fucking bodies. Imagine that. 
the uh, B being a lefty uh, and joining forces with with uh, lefties with hard ons, and this includes female lefties with hard ons. Ah. Uh, you know, it's just the fuck. I just, you know, the, the, I'm just embarrassed to even be on the left anymore. Listening to this fucking horse shit coming out of, of people I uh, I respect and love's mouth. Just watching this man drink this fucking Kool Aid. It breaks my fucking heart, Veg. It breaks my fucking heart. Are trying to take over the asylum. Yeah. Last Saturday, the, the US asylum is right. Vaccinated Canadian truckers from entering the country, mirroring Canada's border restrictions to American truckers. So, so now, what? We're and I heard that that uh, the drum factually supported this crap, and it's like uh, hallelujah. They, this is the same Donald Trump that Vegematic was was basically parroting uh, when, when I was laughing about Veg on one of his recent uh, uh, no, was some comment to me sounding just like Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Okay, this is how weird it is getting. Like Alex Jones talking about him and uh and, and Bill Maher in the in the bed together. Donald Trump has now proven himself to be a major pro vaxer. Even fucking Donald Trump, the intellectual mental midget, Donald Trump can understand the difference between Sancho Panza and a pit bull. So it, it breaks my heart that this intelligent man does not have the intellectual acumen of Donald Trump to understand the difference between Sancho Panza and a pit bull. And then he just goes why, on conflating. Why do I feel like a, a Austrian Jew in Germany before you know the beginning of World War II. And see that that is absolutely hilarious because this is the very same refrain uh, that, uh, that people who are, uh, that, that, that people who are getting crucified, uh, for, uh, for declining to get the vaccination. Uh, it sounds just like him. It sounds just like the people, uh, you, you know, veg, you're, you're, you're vaccinated. You're part of the Hitler Youth. You are part of the, you know, I, uh, you know, cheering on, uh, you know, a government telling us what to do. You should be thrilled by this. My battery's starting to go down. So anyway. Yes, to... my friends, fascism is resurgent in the world because it worked out so well yes. in history. Exactly. That is exactly what it, I can't believe it. So the more I listen to this, the more I agree with you, Veg, of course. So now, Hambone Little Tail, Devo Zarco, Mark, now we're fascist for calling out the fascist. We are fascist. Here are some quotes for from... What some truckers. Support. All right, anyway, so from this point, I think you get the fucking point. Veg does clearly does not understand the fucking difference between a vaccine and a vaccine mandate, but I still love this man. And he knows it. <laughs> and Veg, you're certainly welcome to leave comments or make another video. See, this is what I love about my brother is that he and I, we can... Uh, we, we can have fun. Uh, we can have fun with each other. All right. So anyway, well, I just got to have to talk. So then, of course, I sent that video to Deb Ozarko. And uh, so this was Deb Ozarko's review of uh, Vegematics video. I'm going to read part of it. This is a long email she sent me. Anyway, this is part of it. Uh, he is reading from CBC News, which is heavily funded by that fucking coward Trudeau. Yep, we have an infestation of fake news up north too, folks. Let me tell you what is really going on in the land of snow and ice 
Ottawa is my hometown, so I am at ground zero. Well, not quite. I live in rural Ottawa, well isolated and insulated from the sheeple. This is my experience to date. <clears throat> I have been sobbing tears of gratitude all week, every single day. This gorgeous movement has helped me realize the immensity of the oppression we have been subjected to for far too long. It feels like an exhale when I did not even realize I had been holding my breath for so long. I feel a palpable shift in my nervous system lately. This has become a truly beautiful expression of the human spirit that is uniting millions of us around the globe. The more they now try to divide us, the more we now unite. You go, girl. I have already donated money, time, food, my home, and my presence on Saturday to love, support, and cheer them on as they drive the final leg of their incredible journey into my hometown. Regardless of the outcome, love has already won. I was ashamed to be Canadian, to be human for the past few years. Two weeks to flatten the curve and we are all in this together turned into two years of oppression that divided the masses into fearing and hating each other. Disgraceful hardly says it. The skillful manipulation of legacy corporate media such as the one that Vegematic has suddenly become such a fucking fan of, and the political puppets belonging to the globalist billionaires have turned the world into a depressing place. This was never about you know, corona panic. Not for a second. This has always been about some other more sinister agenda, and now it is crumbling everywhere. The Convoy for Freedom has become a profoundly spiritual movement. It is so much bigger than mandates, vaccines, lockdowns, masks, and all the other brutality that has been utilized over the past two years to divide us. This is about love triumphing over fear. This is an epic moment in history that I am proud to be a part of. The energy here is incredible. No words can convey the feeling. I have never experienced anything like this before. Thank you. Deb Ozarko. So anyway, guys, you've heard the two sides of it. You have heard the uh, two people. Now, I might make a separate since it is. I, I wanted my original plan for this <clears throat> before I ever heard of this trucking convoy was this article on Axios. One Canadian's take on Florida's pandemic response I might come back with a part two. This is a fun little story in Axios. One Canadian's take on, um, on how we in Florida are uh, living with, you know, here in the uh, oasis of freedom. But I am going uh, to close this rant the same way that Sam Mitchell closed that uh, rant by Eric Rittenberry, at least part one, if the... Uh, if the uh, camera will, uh, th he we, I finished up that rant uh, quoting Aldous Huxley, his disturbing mid 20th century prediction. We're going to close this rant like Sam Mitchell closed his with Aldous Huxley weighing in. <clears throat> Quote, there will be in the next generation or so, meaning, you know, this generation, 
a pharmacological method of making people love their servitude and producing dictatorship without tears, so to speak, producing a kind of painless concentration camp for entire societies so that people will, in fact, have their liberties taken away from them, but will rather enjoy it because they will be distracted from any desire to rebel by propaganda or brainwashing. Blah, blah, blah. Amen, Brother Aldous Huxley. Can you imagine uh, what Aldous Huxley uh, would be saying in George Orwell? Uh, good fucking God. What would, what would those guys sound like? I don't think, uh, I don't think the Canadian broadcast service would be quoting Aldous Huxley or George Orwell if they were around today. But anyway, you've heard Vegematic's side and you've heard Deb Ozarko's side and I'm not going to make an opinion on, uh, on any of this. Uh, so anyway, Vegematic, Vegematic knows I love him. <laughs> anyway, I t brother, I told you I was going to stir up some shit with you and uh, we will see. Uh, Veg uh, and I, we have a date to meet up in Niagara Falls. It'll be interesting to see if, is Vegematic going to throw me over Niagara Falls or am I going to throw Vegematic over Niagara Falls? So that'll be an interesting video. Hambone and Vegematic meet, <laughs> meet up at, at, uh, at Viagra Falls. See who has the limp dick at Viagra Falls. <laughs> oh, God. Why do I do this? Anyway. Bye, guys.